Hey guys, welcome to part 19. In last episode, we found Geosenge City, or however you pronounce it. However, I did some things between last episode and this episode, so on screen. First thing I did was I went back to Route 2 and found two Zig Zagoons and two Bunnelbees that both knew pickup. I really should have done that earlier. Then I grinded a little bit more and trained everyone up to level 30, except for Drift Bloom, which I will go to right now. Except for Drift Bloom, which evolves at level 28, and I wanted you guys to see that. Along in that process, I also trained up Zigzagoon and Bunnelby until they were both level... What are they now? Well, that was the highest level one, but you get the idea. That way they get better pickups. Also, what I did was, you remember how I used, um... Bagon? Bagon, however you say his name? Bagel? Remember how I used Bagel as an HM slave? Now I'm using Lanoon as him, if I bother to put HMs on. And I decided to train a Bagon for myself. I know you guys are thinking, like, ha, sure, is you right? Well, me and my friend just kind of talking over about Pokemon X. He pointed out that I'll probably not see a stronger Pokemon for a very long time. So I decided, eh, why not? Let's go for it. So there's just much willpower as I decide not to, I am deciding to. Unfortunately, he kind of replaced Snorlax, which could be a bit of an issue. I also saw a whole bunch of Pokemon during my, um... During my grinding that hopefully we'll see on the way through, and I caught some Pokemon that we saw earlier. Halucha, Houndour, Inkay, and Spoink. I also learned some cool moves. We learned Hex, which does double damage if it's affected by a sass condition, and can stand out Thunder Wave, that's pretty great. Let's see, he didn't learn anything new. He didn't oh I even still got the option to learn growth, but since he doesn't have chlorophyll, I don't think it's a great idea to do like a Sun Team, because then I give him, like, Solar Beam and a few other things, but that's just my thought process. He learned Bulk Up, but since he has so many good moves, I didn't want to mess with him. And I, I don't really even... I learned Baby Doll Eyes, which is kind of interesting. Let's see, what else? He learned Stockpile, which boosts your spe defense and special defense, but I don't really like using that Stockpile moveset, because it's kind of gimmicky. And... I think that's it. For the most part, actually. And you might be wondering, why am I here? This is why. Care for a sky battle with a sky trainer? But of course! Dum dee dun. That is a weird outfit. Santa Skip Loon! He's so cute. Alright, Drift Loon. Time to eat their lunch. Let's see, calculate it out quick. Gus seems to be the better option. Smacky. Ah, oh, no, 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 ah, no, ah. Jerky. Epic jerky. That was my watch because I forgot to set up a timer. Ouch. Jerky, you paralyzed me. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. So much win. Look at that. Sweet. Swoobat. Oh, e gad, what is that? I want Crobat. Give me Crobat. Assurance? What does that do? That was my head. Ah, oh, stupid. I can't, I, I don't want to lose this. Come on. Ouch. Whatever you're doing, stop it. Okay, now I'm debating whether or not I can risk it. One more assurance and I'm most likely dead. Uh, I better... Better play... That thing has a heart. For nose. How stupid is that? Yep, I'm just gonna risk it. Smacky. That was my face. I think it did 26 damage. Hex. If I remember correctly, you're a psychic type. Let's see, psychic, double power, 130. Yeah, you're dead. Eat it. Oh, yes. A boosted? I'm still not used to this whole sky battle thing. What does he mean by boosted? What's going on? What? Drifloon is evolving! Yes! I support. I support this madness. Go, Drifloon! I was gonna say, I can still see your feet. Nope. 
Well, actually, they're hands. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? I'm excited! So we got a balloon that can carry children. It turns into... Awesomeness! Well, that was a cool knife. Triplim! Is that it? Well, I'm excited. I got a drift blim now. I wonder if you can talk to her again. Nope, can't. Okay. Let's head back to town. Hopefully, we'll ac accidentally see one of those Pokemon that I wanted to show you earlier. Because one of them, I'm going to spoil it for you, was Eevee. So, give me a second, and we'll see what we can see. Go! 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 Keep going! Keep going! Unless it's a sun- Ah! Egad. Die. Okay. That is like the scariest looking Pokemon ever. You will die! Good bite. Those Hauluchas are a pain. Yeah, I remember. I forgot I have the XP share on. I'm gonna keep that on just so I can train my HM slaves. Because since they know pick up, I get better and better items. And eventually they start dropping. Ah! Eventually they start dropping leftovers, which is like the best thing ever. Go away! You're not a new Pokemon! Smack you. Nope, nothing yet. So it's so great seeing just like when I was training my Zigzagoon and Bunnelby. Like, every time I did anything, they leveled up. It was great. Okay, now, someone, standing about right here, so, I accidentally talked to, and they said, go to the hotel if you want to learn more about the stones. And I just saw Pokeball. What the? Okay, that's worth a look. Let's see. Let's see, here we are. A somewhat different Pokeball, it becomes progressively more effective the more turns that are taken in battle. That would be pretty great for legendaries, I imagine. I don't know what the maximum power is, but... Okay, so she, she said, meet me in the hotel. If you want to learn more about the you, it's her. You saw these huge stones around 10, did you? Some of the big ones are more than 30 feet tall. And there are hundreds of millions of them spanning more than a mile in all. I suppose possible that people put up those stones with help from lots of Pokemon, but for what purposes? Why are they there? There are some, lots of theories about them, of course. Some people think they mark the burial site of warriors from ancient times. Others say they were built as family morals, or what they were set up for a ritual to celebrate life. I don't know about all that, though. Personally, I think they just... They might just be a kind of calendar. You see it all the time in astronomy studies. The ancient culture used stones to track the moon to the sun. That makes sense, sun clocks. The one thing is for sure, those stones are full of mysteries. Many believe that they contain some kind of mysterious power. I just hope it's a benign power that is watching over its people in Pokemon. Bah! Seeing which, there are some mysterious stones in neighboring Shalar City, too. She sounded a lot more dramatic earlier. She could have told me that earlier. But no, instead it was, If you want to know more about the stones, come with me. Alright. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Let's go this way. This way. Let's see here. But they seem impossible to reach. Cool. Okay, now... I remember once upon a time, Pokemon that knew the move Headbutt could hit trees and, like, Pokemon would fall out. Nope. Nope, they're not doing it. No Headbutt. Do you like smooth stones? I think they're neat. Okay? I use everything as I have as the source of my power, my body, my spirit, and my emotions. Well, okay. Emmanuel. Now you're so cool. Drip loom. Yeah, suck a soul out. Can do. But X is a pretty nice move on its own. I mean, without even any help. But for those really big enemies... One Thunder Wave, some Hexes. <gasps> yes! The other thing I wanted to show you. We just Thunder Wave it. A Hex, if you're... If you're really worried about Thunder Wave, Hex, it's dead. I just can't talk straight today. 
Bleh. Eat it. Yes. Drifloon grew to level 29. You and your Pokemon are far more powerful than I could have imagined. And I use type advantages. Yes! Yes! I have high hopes for Bagon. I've never used a Bagon. This should be fun. Do, 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 glowing white orb. Do, 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 you got a beach ball! An angry beach ball! Cool. Shellgun. Did I learn a new move? Ah. Uh, keep old moves. Yeah. I. I. Um, unless I had a strategy that involved protect, like, maybe if I poison them or use curse or something. But until then, I. I just can't. Oh, that's cool. See. Its attack is pretty stinking high, its defense is pretty stinking high. I just realized something. Wait, hold on, it's... Yeah, both of them! Both of them have more than 62 speed. You know that one person that said, you give us, ask if any of our Pokemon are more than 62 speed? Someone remind me. We'll, we'll have to talk to him sometime. What the? Who are you? A battle girl's power comes from her belt, you know? No. Uh, I wouldn't say that. That that doesn't even make any sense, actually. Me and fool. It it really doesn't. I mean, yeah, I know Machoke says like, oh, they got a power belt and this and that. It isn't it great, but it's like it no. Oh, so you're pretty big. So actually, come to think about it, Gust, even with its boost, is sixty, and the base power of Hex is sixty-five. That's yeah, so Hex is, like, naturally more powerful than Gust. Get down. Gotta keep my belt tied tight or I can't unleash my true power. You did not unleash your true power there. Don't you lie to me. Ah! What is it? Get away from me! Hello! Hello there, looks like you've almost made it to Shalor City. That's fantastic! Looks like your journey with your Pokemon around the Kalos region is going swimming swimmingly. I want to tell you about a person in Shalor who knows a great deal about Mega Evolution. People call him the Mega Evolution Guru. How come you didn't talk to him in the first place? I've told everyone else about him, so if you have a second, you should give him a visit. Um... Okay. Oh! My bad, give me a second. Gonna... Cut. Yes. Wow, they all can cut. I want you. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Let's get rid of Tackle. I still want Lanoon to be a decent fighter. I mean, yeah, in terms of, like, my team, Lanoon isn't on my team, but I still want him to be, like, he can fight if you want to. There we go. There it is. What is it? What is it? Ooh. Rock polish. If I remember correctly, rock polish. Yep. This can sharply raise the speed stat. No one has the ability to. It's like, think of it like an agility. Because that's pretty much what it is. It's just an agility. It's most known for being used with Onyx. Ah, oh, please be a double battle. Behold the results of my training. All my training was for this match. This match. This particular match. Right here. Nothing else. Wait, what? Two completely different Pokemon. This will be fun. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. That's just plain freaky. Okay, you... Let's see. I want you to use Hex on him. And you to use Shadow Claw on... Actually, wait, hold on. Yeah. Well... Okay, you use Hex. Guarantee his death. 
You use aerial ace. Air aerial ace. Air aerial 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 ace. What? How are you still alive? What in the world, sir? Low sweet. Whoa, ouch. Eat it. Okay. Nope, my mo none of my moves will hit them both at the same time, which is a bummer. Oh, do Mr. Mime. I, I hate Mr. Mime. Like, okay, sorry. Hate is the wrong thing to say. But man, does he drive me nuts. Foresight. Why? Why didn't you use that on Driftblim? You, you know, the one that would actually be helpful to use Foresight on. You deserve that. Eat it. Ah, 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 it's going to be okay, don't cry. We did our best. That's debatable. What's over here? Well, that's Nino. What's over here? What's what's that? No, it's nothing. What's that? Care for a sky ball? Yes. This is specifically designed to reduce wind resistance. Off I go. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't really like that you can't fight sky trainers. I mean, like, you have to, like, look for them. Wait, no, that sounds wrong. You have to... What? Oh, that's a light. What just... What just happened? Yeah, you're a flying type. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, death. Oh dear. That, that, that sort of sinks. I blacked out? What? I'll be right back. I gotta go kill her. Ah, what is it? Better be something cool. What the? Straight to Hariyama? That thing's huge. Okay, I cannot catch you, for I want your pre-evolution first. So, 60, 120, okay. Chwa! You're huge, dude. Chwa! Yeah, where, where's your pre-evolution? That's just kind of weird, all of a sudden, it's just like, BAM! Look! Ivy Store! Way to go, Ivy! Double Edge? Yeah, sure. Let's see. Takedown is 90. Double Edge, yeah, infinitely better. So, forget Takedown. Um, poof! I keep thinking it's Padoof. Poof, 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 poof. Ivy Store learned Double Edge! Frogadier grew to level 31! Lanoon grew to level 30! Thank you, Hariyama! Alright, let's try against that sky train. Ah! What is it? Look, go away, okay? I killed your friend. I, I'm, I'm not, you know, opposed to killing you. Smelling salts? Doesn't that, like, mess with their... I want to say that messes with a random stat. Can't remember. Take that. Never mind, I had a thought. Really? You're like, really? You had a thought? Yes. How often does that happen? Shut up. Yes! Yes, I'll have a sky battle with you, and your stupid Emolga kicks my drift loom's butt around town. And I forgot that you're a lightning type, so I kind of messed that one up a little bit. Wait a second. Are you faster than me? Never mind. X. Good. 
death. Well, that was cool. It doesn't really do you much good, though. Death. So I love that. It's like the little dark fireball thing. Oh. Wingull? I think I can handle you. Yep, out of my team. Drift Bloom. What the? That did almost nothing. Drift Bloom is definitely, like, my black mage. My dark mage. My necromancer. My. My run of the mill. The guy that does stuff for me. But I can't. Ooh. Curses. I can't use Hex. He just intimidated my payback. Thunderwave. You put me in a bad situation. See, I have a lot more health than you, but I can't use that move or this move, so, bit of an issue. I'm gonna have to use Gust. Oh wow, that actually went a lot better than I thought it would. Gust. <laughs> Eat it, Staravia. It appears that the damage distance was reduced as well. Nah, I get it. Okay. Dark bag. Super potion. Use on you. There we go. I don't want to bother you know, running back. Because that's lame and it takes time. Who are you? There's sure a lot of mystery sto mysterious stones in the Kalos region. We like the ones we're standing beside? Fine. Reflection Cave. This should be fun. No roller skates. No bike. What? So like mom's words echo. Who are you? Ooh. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. I didn't sign up for this. What's going on? Oh my goodness. It's a Wabafet. I want one. However, it's a girl. I'm sorry, the lipstick's throwing me off. However, one thing I know about you is that you only can use moves that counteract my moves. Which means I gotta be careful on how to kill it. Eh, it'll live. Really? Probably not. Oh, wow! Eat it, Waba. Oh well, I'm sure I'll see another one. To tell you the truth, I'm thinking of never leaving this place. Ever! I know, creepy. I'm never gonna leave here. Oh dear. The noon. Gust! <laughs> I didn't do very much. Oh, oh dear. See, that is what you're supposed to do with Odor Sleuth. Not this, like, I'm gonna look at you and make sure I'm... You have failed me. You have failed me. You, you were brilliant for a second there. I mean, you, you had a good thing going. Now you're just stupid. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Shellgun! Way to go, Shellgun! Ooh, way to go, Combuskin! Uh. Uh. Um. Uh, no. Keep old moves. Yeah. Take that, Lane! Tell you the truth, I'm not even sure if this place is real! What? This place isn't real? What's going on? I, I, I don't get it. That's just weird. Light! Fine. Okay, so I guess. Well, that doesn't really mean anything. Um. I 
I don't get it. Ah! Ah! Oh, you're, you're so cute! Let's catch it! Might as well. Paralyze. Blech. Use his charm! My attack harshly fell. Push, push, push. Yep, you're good enough to cap. Actually. Light screen halves the damage of special type moves, so this should work. Whooshoo, whooshoo, whoo. There we go. Alright, another one for the box. Do do. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ding. Thank you. Gotcha, Solosis was caught. This is a green bubble. It looks like a green because their bodies are enveloped in a special liquid they are fine in any environment, no matter how severe. Okay now first that seems reasonable, but that's actually not reasonable. Hey Solosis, what? Go live in a volcano. Something's up here. Something is wrong. Ah, no. I'm full of nonsense. Ah, curses. I bet you. Oh! See, I bet that scientist will heal me. What the? A wild carving? Oh! I remember that. That's a fairy. The rock type fairy. Huh, rock type. Thunderwave. I think Dark is resistant. I'm sorry, Rock is. Or actually, no. Okay, yep. Now I can definitely use Payback. Say, because I think Fairy is resistant. Oh wow. Well, okay. Now I can't send anyone in. That's nice. Don't forget, I'm just gonna gust you to death. Wow. So neither of my moves are doing anything. You're a very impressive Pokemon. No! Okay, good. What are you doing? Smacky. What just happened? I don't know. But hey, he's still alive. You know what that means? I get to catch him. Come on. Come on! Come on! The ding! Kabing was got! There we go! Born from the temperatures and pressures deep underground, it fires beams from the stones in its head. It's stone in its head. No. Alright, well in the next episode... We need to keep exploring this place that people debate if it's even real, which is kind of surprising. So, see you then!